JJ Jinx. Truck stop. This is the centenary edition of the Complete Chronicles of Conan. The Complete Collection by Robert E. Howard. Now the story of Conan um, started off in those uh, kind of pulp fiction kind of fantasy magazines of long ago. And this is the entire collection. You can see how thick this book is. Uh, I haven't finished it yet, but get a neat little map on the inside cover and here you can see Aquilonia which is where at the end of the first movie he ends up becoming crowned king why am I talking about Conan I had a bunch of uh, medals that I had to throw away from my lab and my friend Rick is sort of an amateur uh, jewelry maker jewel crafter so I commissioned a Conan sword Kind of a letter opener type type of thing, um, so I just got the package, and uh, I'm just gonna open it up real quick now. He's just an amateur maker. Uh, he's got a forge and a crucible and all the equipment and stuff in his garage. So yeah, the deal was I gave him a bunch of metal, and then he made for me this thing, and I'm pretty excited because I've been waiting a whole year. He put a lot of work into the design. He had a mold 3d printed for it traditionally um when you did the lost wax method of king which is not how swords are made right this is just a this is just a um, letter opener so casting it was acceptable normally artists use this to sculpt and actually make things from scratch but you can also um detail and change things this way you know it's like digital sculpting the the metal we went with See, it's mostly steel. So in Lost Wax Method, um, once you have a model made out of wax, or a lot of times, if it's things are 3D printed, it's actually made out of a resin. And then you pour what we call investment, which is, it looks like plaster of Paris, but I think it has silica in it, so it can take a high heat. And it goes all the way to 1500 and something degrees. So this is a, um, what they call ancient bronze, but it just means it's actual copper and tin. So I use a, a propane and oxygen torch. And then when you see it turn into like a ball, you let go of this, and then you go like that and let it fly. And that pushes all that liquid metal into that void or the, you know, that space that's inside the flask to fill, you know, to fill where the model was. It, it came out pretty well with the, you know, the way it is. I got a note. Hi, JJ Jinx. After a long wait, I present to you your Conan mini sword. It's only sharpened enough to make be maybe open letters. I'm not good at sharpening. I'll also make you a Conan bust. Take care, Rick. Wow, having a bust to go with the sword would be freaking awesome. Right, let's see what we got here. Oh, wow. So yeah, this is a forged, custom-designed, custom-made. And uh, I gotta say, this is quite awesome. I don't really remember what he made it out of. I think he said it was um, like Roman bronze or some shit. So yeah, I've checked this out. So on the pommel, cool little design on the pommel. It almost looks like a cricket head with a little skull in it. Oh, that's so cool. And then the handle looks like it's um, got like wood grain patterning. And then the hilt has some kind of, I don't know what that is, ovaries? Look at the detail in this. This is beautiful. Well, Rick, thank you very much for this. Conan. Remember the cartoon? The cartoon was awesome. Then we can begin to conquer the world. <laughs>